This video is the second of a pair that introduced the basic structure of a C program for people who have seen programming before. If you haven't watched the first one, click on the link at the top and then come back to this one. In this one, we'll show more about pound defines, getting input from a user, formatting output, and some mathematical operations as well. To start, let's just make the math a little more interesting. In the first video, we just calculated how much a set of bottles cost. In this one, the bottles that are part of a six pack get 10% off the price of an individual bottle. So we want to buy as many six packs as we can. Let's look at some of the details of that math. The slash in this expression means division. In C, there are two kinds of division, integer division, which quits when it gets to the decimal point and evaluates to an integer, or real division, which goes as far as the precision of the system allows. Both are coded with a slash. So the question is, how do we know which one the compiler will give us? The answer is in the types of the operands. If both of the operands are integers, then the slash means integer division. If either one of the operands is a real number, then the slash means real division. In this case, since both number of bottles and six are integers, the slash means integer division, which is perfect because we want to know the number of full six packs we can buy. This percent sign is the modulus operator. It calculates the remainder after division. Suppose our number of bottles is seven. The remainder when we divide seven by six is one. And that is correctly the number of bottles we would need to buy individually. If we were buying 12 bottles, two six packs would be perfect. No single bottles would be required. 12 mod six is zero because six goes evenly into 12. So that works. If we were trying to buy any number less than six, like say three, the remainder when we divide three by six is three. Six goes into it zero times and there are three left over. So that works for how many individual bottles we would need two. So the remainder after we divide by six will be the number of bottles that didn't fit in a six pack. And the modulus operator is just what we needed for this calculation. Now that code was pretty hard to read and has a bunch of hard coded constants. In C, the way to give those constants names is with pound defined statements. Like the pound include, these are instructions to a part of the compiler called the preprocessor. The preprocessor modifies our source code before the compiler runs. Pound defines are always of the form pound define name stuff, and they tell the preprocessor every time you see name, replace it with stuff. So this says every time you see cost per bottle, replace it with 1.29. We can put more than constants in the stuff part of a pound define. In this one, we give a formula for the cost of a six pack. So the compiler would replace cost per six pack by that entire formula. Then that formula contains six pack discount, which would be replaced by a 10th and cost per bottle that would again be replaced by 1.29. Up to this point, we've just made number of bottles be eight. Let's try to get that information from our user. So when our program runs, we want it to tell the user to input the number of bottles and then read in the number that the user gives us and store it into the number of bottles variable. We call the text that gives the user instructions a prompt, and we can just use the format string of printf to describe what we want. The backslash n tells it to go to the next line. That will decide where the characters the user types will be. In addition to giving us printf, the standard IO library gives us scanf, which gets input from the keyboard. Like printf, scanf has a format screen which describes how the input should be read. In this case, the percent %d means that we want it to be read as a decimal integer. The ampersand number of bottles tells scanf where we want it to store the value. We'll explain that ampersand in a future video. For now, just believe that you need it. All we have left to do is to output the results of our calculation, but let's pretty that up a bit. You can see in this printf statement, we've made a more interesting format string 
to describe what we want to output. The string will be output exactly as it is, except for tokens that start with percent. Those describe how the variables in the rest of the printf arguments should be formatted. Let's look at that printf statement in more detail. We see that the first parameter we see that the first parameter is the format string. Tokens that begin with percent signs are called placeholders and describe how our values should be formatted. The rest of the arguments are the expressions that we want to output. Each one gets formatted by the placeholders in order. In this case, we see percent %10.2f. Remember in the last video, we saw that percent %f means output it as a real number, a float. The 10.2 allows us to format that real number. The 10 is the minimum number of characters to be output. If we don't need them all for our number, leading spaces will be added. The 2 is the number of the positions to the right of the decimal point, and trailing zeros will be added to meet that requirement. If our number has more decimal places than that, it'll be rounded to that position. So, if our total cost was 37.41, it will be formatted like this. There are six spaces between the is and the three, one from our format string, and five to make the total width of our number 10 characters. That's it for our overview of the structure of C programs. The next thing we will look more at is the detail of those compiler directives, the pound include and the pound define.